Yo, but we got to bring on some people, man, because we got to talk about free agency and this upcoming draft. A lot of people want to talk, give their opinions. So we're going to first bring on our guy, B.S. Brandon Spalletto. What up, B? Hey, welcome. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Doing well, man. Doing well. How you, how you been, man? Good, man. Been good. Hail to the commanders. No, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <Do it. laughs> hey, hey, look, look, we talked about this when you came on earlier. Uh, you know, it's we've been here before, you know, right before the draft, yeah. nervous, optimism and everything like that. But I mean, this is kind of a, a, a new day like this is this is something exciting, man. What do you think? Yeah, it, it really feels like the stench of Dan Snyder is gone. And it yes. feels like we mm-hmm. we have arrived in the future. And it's yep. it's exciting. It's terrifying, but it's exciting. And I'm ready to go. Um I couldn't be more excited. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, all right. We got a couple questions for you, Will. I'm going to let you go ahead and get started talking about this free agency and whatnot. All right. So, Brandon, talk to us about free agency. What did you see that that really impressed you about it and just kind of overall with free agency? What were your thoughts? You know, um, <clears throat> I thought it was a master class put on by the new GM, Adam Peters. Mm-hmm. Um I, I thought it was a, it was refreshing. It was something we haven't seen here in a long time. Um, in the first wave, all of the signings that he signed were uh, all for just thirty eight million. So we yeah. still had sixty million cap space yeah. after that first wave of signings, um, and that just showed how many players were taken. You know, deals that they they wanted to be here. Yeah. Um, uh, players like Bobby Wagner. You know, players like. Mm-hmm. You know, just better players, you know, that yes. we've seen here in a while. Like, yeah, you know, players uh, we can be proud of. Yeah. And Jamie <laughs> Davis is going to be some depth now. If he's, right. You know, mm. that's, that's, he's not, he, Bobby Wagner can teach him something. Yeah. Um, so I'm good with that. Um, free agency was interesting, though. We lost some people. Uh, I am not happy about seeing Cameron Curl leave. Mm. Uh, I was really kind of hoping we'd keep him. I like the okay. way he played. Um, you know, hats off to him. He's going to do big things. So, uh, but, but I'm excited. I I liked what you all said. I think we, we do have some holes to fill. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm looking forward to the draft. I thought, uh, you know, Sean, I will say, I thought, I think I disagree with you just a little bit on the edge. You know, we, we signed, um, Dante Fowler from Dallas. We signed Clellan, Clellan Farrell from San Francisco, Mm -hmm. you know, um, we re-signed F.A. Obata, who played yeah. well when he had chances. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm I'm not too worried on the edge. I think yeah. we might be okay, and I think we might find some depth in in, in the draft. Okay, I like that. I, I actually agree with you. And and I last week I switched it. I was Tampa a quarter lower, and I, I I did the same thing. I thought about well, actually we signed a couple of guys, and Fowler's sort of that pass rush specialist type player. So I was yeah. like, maybe we could wait a little bit. So I see exactly where you're coming with that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you and you that's a perfect segue into the next one. What positions do you think we should target in the draft? Obviously, I think the quarterback. Um, that's, I mean, we, we can't say it any more clearly. It's going to be yeah. quarterback at number yeah. two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, in the draft, I'm looking for offensive line. I'm looking for a tight end. I'm looking for some corner as well. Um, hey. You know, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. I'd like a receiver too, but it's not Christmas time. So I don't know if, I don't know how, how long I can write that list down. Um, right. But, and I don't know if we're we're going this far, but if Edonai Mitchell is there at 40, mm. kind of hard not to take him there, right? Mm-hmm. That would yeah. be a big, big weapon at 40 for receiver. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So there's speed. talks that he might, he might be there. So, huh. right. I'm kind of excited. Nice. There's so oh, many yeah, possibilities right? on, like, like you said, where's the tackle, where the tackle's going to go and start going and, and, a lot of it depends on that. How many trades are going back up into the first round for teams to fill needs or which teams have fallen in love with their players, right? So it's always it's yeah. always interesting at draft time. Oh, yeah. It's the best time of the year, especially when you're in this type of a advantageous situation. I'm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Let's go. 
All right, Will, man, without further ado. It's all right. To ask it. Okay, Brandon, you get an opportunity now. Who are you drafting at number two? Look, obviously it's Caleb Williams, number one. He's going to Chicago. I'm taking Jaden Daniels, number two. Ooh. Heisman Trophy winner. Um, he's shown he can do it all. We need a franchise quarterback. Look, man, that's an easy decision for me. Uh, uh, welcome to Washington, D.C., Jaden Daniels. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Are you at all concerned about some of the stuff that's come out in the last week between what his agent said, all nope. the stuff about he he would prefer Las Vegas or Minnesota, or you're like, nope. hey, man, this this you ain't, you're not a free agent. You're going nope. where you get drafted. Nope, and here's why. In, in college, Cliff Kingsbury had Patrick Mahomes, and he's been a head coach, and we have head coaches all over this uh, coaching staff. He's going to get drafted. He's going to go to his team. He's going to have next level coaching. He's going to have the best coaching in the NFL. And I, I just think he's going into the best possible scenario for him at Washington. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. I we, we could ever say that. I'm yeah. sorry. We never could have said that. Yeah. No, like four years ago. Could you imagine saying that right now? No. Not at all. <laughs> it seems like it's, it's just real. Like somewhere over the uh -huh. <laughs> you know, like Here we are. Yeah. No, I mean, look at the, our coaching staff and who he's going to learn from. Like, yeah. What? Yeah. What? It's, it's pretty yeah. silly. I want to I want to ask this. All right. And I, I'm, this is going to be a theme for me, obviously, with my number two, I'm Drake May. But I have no problem with Jane Daniels. My <laughs> question is this. OK. And I've talked to people about this left and right. Are we worried about the injury, potential injury issues? It's kind of similar to the last guy that we had with this guy's caliber, which was Robert Griffin III. Look, I don't know. I think obviously at the quarterback position, there's always going to be concern for injuries. Um but it's the NFL, you know. I, I think at some point we just let him go play football, see what happens. I think he's obviously a great pick, and uh, you know, it, I think if we do address the offensive line and they grow well, it should not be an issue. Yeah, I can dig it. I can think it. Yeah. My man, Brandon, man, yo, I, I so appreciate you hopping on here. Talking to us about this thing. We got the draft coming up tomorrow. But real quick, before we let you go, man, you are a published writer, a poet, my guy, I, right? I am. That I am. <laughs> Talk to us about your latest works that I got published. Uh, okay. Um, thank you. I oh, yeah. love oh, poetry. It's my favorite thing to do, um, which 15-year-old me would be like, what? <laughs> uh, but I, it is. Um so far, I've been lucky to get several poems published in the past few months. Uh, I would say I'm emerging, which means Maybe. I'm just arriving. I don't have a book yet, uh, but I'm sending them out uh, poems, hoping to get published, hoping to get uh, manuscripts out there. So um, I lost my buddy, my best friend, John, a few years ago, um, which you guys were very kind enough to give me a shout out here. And I will always remember that. But uh I've written quite a few poems for him that have been lucky enough to get published. And uh, sh spoiler alert, I have a manuscript that I'm sending out to publishers um, called I'm Your Huckleberry. Uh, and hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, we'll see if, uh, if somebody picks it up. Let's go. That's awesome. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's Thank go, baby. You. Yeah. You. Yo, Thank so, you so much. Uh, where could can can like, where can they look online or where could they? You know what? Them? Here, uh, I'm gonna post up here in the the comment section. Okay. Connect the comment. Oh, um, you can just Google me, uh, Brandon C. Spoletta, um, and my poems should come up. Um, okay. I've been in the literary journal so far, and uh, thank you to all the editors who have published me. <laughs> I see two of them. Awesome. Okay. There we go. Very ben. cool. Ladies and gentlemen, definitely check out Brandon, man. Great stuff. And uh, 
one of these days we're going to get into uh, the Brandon Cave because I know you have jerseys upon jerseys, memorabilia, and everything in there, man. Photos, helmets. It's a, yes. it's a, it's a Redskins Commander's he- uh, fan cave. Awesome. Paradise. Paradise, there you like go. That. There you go. Hey, All right, man. Yo, we'll be talking to you tomorrow, obviously, because uh, uh, some of us will be hooting and hollering. Some of us might be crying. But we, we got a quarterback. We know we'll have a quarterback by tomorrow. So there we, will. There we go. <laughs> All right, B. Appreciate you, buddy. You too. Take care. Thank you. All right, man. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the Washington Commanders. There it is.